It's good to have a new friend on the island, Gator. I'm really glad you're not going away. But, Percy, I am going away. I've just been useful while I was waiting for my ship. And my ship is coming in tonight! Thomas was still in the shed. It seemed like a very long day. <sighs> At least I don't have to wear my snow player like Emily. <laughs> but Emily was having a great time now. <laughs> she was having so much fun. She cleared the tracks in no time. Emily! As you have done such a good job clearing the tracks, you can take Annie and Clarabelle out on Thomas's branch line. Oh, thank you, sir. Emily was very pleased. Back at Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas was very bored. I wish I had something to do. I don't know why you don't like your snowplow, Thomas. Clearing snow is great fun. Really? And now I get to take Annie and Clarabelle out on your branch line. Thomas was very surprised. But they're my coaches. That's my job. You can't go out today, Thomas. Not without your snowplow. Thomas watched as Emily was coupled up to Annie and Clarabelle. See you later, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Hope your snowplow turns up soon. Thomas wasn't happy at all. He wished he could go out in the snow with Annie and Clarabelle. Then Thomas had an idea. If I get my snowplow, the Fat Controller will let me pull Annie and Clarabelle. So Thomas puffed quietly away. Thomas looked for the siding where he had left his snowplow. But none of the sidings had been cleared. They were all covered in snow. They all looked the same. Oh, no! The snow has covered up my snowplow and hidden it. Thomas didn't want to go back to the shed. He wanted to pull Annie and Clarabelle in the snow. Maybe I don't need my snowplow. After all... Emily has cleared my line. So Thomas puffed away to find Emily. Then there was trouble. It started to snow again. I must find Emily. I must find Emily. Thomas puffed as hard as he could through the falling... That night, Thomas was very cross. It's not fair. I like to race Bertie, but he's been rerouted. What does rerouted mean? It means to go a different way to the one you usually go on. What's wrong with that, Thomas? Bertie takes a shortcut now, so he always wins. Then an idea flew into Percy's funnel. So why don't you take a shortcut too, Thomas? Then you could be rerouted just like Bertie. Thomas thought that was an excellent idea. But Annie and Clarabelle didn't. But there's no shortcut on your branch line, Thomas. If you go another way, you could miss a station or make your passengers late. <whistles> but Thomas was determined. If Bertie could be rerouted, so can I. Thomas arrived at Dryor Station, just as Bertie was arriving too. Some passengers got off, and some more passengers got on. But as soon as he could, Thomas rushed away again. Bye-bye, Bertie. See you soon, Thomas. He didn't want to lose another race. If Bertie can be rerouted, so can I. Thomas came to a junction where the tracks were already switched. 
Maybe that's a shortcut. But he only ended up running along a loop siding and coming back onto his branch line again. Oh! Then, Thomas found another track that led away from the branch line. Maybe that's a shortcut. We, we don't, don't think, think so. so. We, we don't, don't think, think so. so. This time, Thomas ended up in an old goods yard. Oh, dear. That's not a shortcut either. We told you so. We told you so. The passengers were grumbling. But Thomas didn't want to give up. Finally, Thomas spotted an old track that led into the woods. This must be a shortcut. There is no shortcut, Thomas. Bertie was waiting for Thomas at the level crossing. He never usually takes this long. Bertie's passengers were starting to grumble too. So Bertie went on his way. We could fly to the moon, dive under the sea, travel to places that we've never been. Make friends with a tiger who knows how to sing. Together we can do a million fun things. Let's go, let's dream, come along with me. The big world is calling, all aboard for a fantasy. The world's full of wonder, there's so much we can be. Thanks to imagination and curiosity. We could be in a movie where we save the day We could speed through the ocean on the sun's yellow rays We could ride a roller coaster and laugh all the way Together we can do a million great things Let's go, let's dream, come along with me The big world is calling all aboard So much to learn, so much to see, so much to do, so much to be. Let's go, let's dream, come along with me. The big world is calling, all aboard for a fantasy. The world's full of wonder, there's so much. It was winter time on the island of Sodor. The wind was cold and it looked like it would snow very soon. So all the engines had to wear their snow plows. Hello, Edward. All ready for the snow? Oh, yes, Percy. Better to be safe than sorry. But Thomas didn't like wearing his snowplow. So he puffed into a siding and did something very cheeky. I can leave my snowplow here and pretend I can't find it. So Thomas played a trick on his driver. He told him that the snowplow didn't fit and had to be removed. Now I won't have to wear it anymore. Thomas puffed back to Tidmouth Sheds. Thomas, where's your snowplow? I can't find it. If it snows, I'll just have to go out without it. That night, it did snow. The island of Sodor was soon covered in a thick blanket of fresh white snow. 
And when the engines puffed off to work the next morning, they were all wearing their snow plows. All except Thomas. The fat controller was not happy. Thomas, as you don't have your snow plow, you will have to wait in the shed. It is too dangerous to go out without it. Very well, sir. Emily, since you have your snow plow, you must clear Thomas's branch line for him. Yes, sir. Thomas was delighted. I don't have to wear my snow plow. Emily was cross. She wasn't snug and warm. She was clearing snow on Thomas's branch line. It's not fair. Why do I have to wear a silly snow plow and Thomas doesn't? <laughs> then she heard some children laughing. They're probably laughing at me because I look so silly with my snow plow on. This made Emily even more cross. But as Emily cleared the tracks, she saw the children playing in the snow. <laughs> Whoa! Here we go. Here we go. With boilers on the oven, 
pushed his way along the overgrown track. Annie and Clarabelle were not happy. Thomas, please! Where are we going? Don't worry. This shortcut is going somewhere. We'll be out of the woods soon, and then... Oh! Oh! Thomas had hit a rotten buffer in the undergrowth, and his wheels had come right off the track. Oh, no! I can't back up! I'm stuck! The passengers were not happy. Now they were going to be very late indeed. Thomas felt terrible. And then he saw his friend Bertie. <gasps> Hello, Thomas. What are you doing in there? <sighs> I was trying to find a shortcut, Bertie. But I've come off the rails. And now my passengers will be late. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but maybe I can take your passengers for you. Thomas's passengers thought that was a very good idea indeed. But Thomas still felt very silly. It was almost dark when Harvey came to shunt Annie and Clarabelle out of the way before lifting Thomas back onto the rails again. The fat controller was very cross. Your passengers don't like to be late, Thomas. You have caused confusion and delay. I'm very sorry, sir. I was hoping to find a shortcut, but I will stick to my branch line from now on. A few days later, Thomas was back on the track. He arrived at Knapford Station to pick up Annie and Clarabelle. Thomas! Welcome, Welcome back! back. We, we missed, missed you! Thank you, Annie and Clarabelle. I missed you too. <laughs> Thomas promised to stick to his branch line in the future. He wouldn't try taking shortcuts again. See you later, slow coach. <laughs> but he and Bertie still like to have races. And sometimes... Thomas even wins. The mayor would like some Jorbywood to build a summer house. He wants the work to start straight away. Thomas's boiler bubbled brightly. This meant a trip to Misty Island. Thomas liked Misty Island. Please, sir, may I go to Misty Island to fetch the Jorbywood? Bash, dash, and Ferdinand rocked and rolled. Please, please, can we go too? We know just what to do. That's right, boss. <gasps> boss? Fat controller. Fat controller. That's right. I would like you three logging locos to stay here on Sodor to learn the ways of my railway. Thomas, you and Edward will go to Misty Island to pick up the Joby Wood. You must leave straight away. Thomas puffed proudly. We'll take the tunnel, Edward. <whistles> the logging loco spluttered and stuttered. You'll need our help. Oh, Wheezy can be wild. And he ho is just playing crazy. That's right. Thomas was stern. No, thank you. Edward and I won't need your help. Old Wheezy and Hee-Haw won't be any trouble to us. We'll show them how to be really useful. So Thomas and Edward clickety-clacked down the Misty Island Tunnel.
When you can't find something special And you keep on looking around Try to stay really cheerful But you can't help feeling down That's when you need a friend to help you Brighten up your day Someone to look and find a clue To help you on your way See what they find Every day, whatever the weather Help you look down every line So when you're feeling down and out Don't you ever give up That's when you need your friends about To take you to the top Search it everywhere Up, down, left, right, look over there Search it Your boys are 
tracks It's great to see you heaving and happily hauling It won't be long till you are back We're on our way, we have our fare Down to the station, the engines are on there Every day there's so much to do Hey Thomas, we know that you'll pull through Great to see the steam team are happily hooping the strongest engines hauling all those times. We're on our way, we have our fare. Down to the station, the engines are on there. Every day there's so much to do. Hey, Thomas, we know that you'll pull through. To know you're coming, we're counting on you. Every day our mail gets through. We're on our way, we have our fare. Down to the station, the engines are all there. Every day there's so much to do. Hey, Thomas, we know the jumble through. Maybe we could take you past the animal park, Harold. You could see all the animals close up. That would be nice. Sorry, Harold, but the animal park is not on our way. I know. We could take Harold across the Sodor Suspension Bridge. I must say, that sounds very exciting. But it's still not on our way. We must take you directly and promptly to the Sodor Search and Rescue Centre. It's the Great Western Way. Duck was sticking to the Great Western Way and that was that. This made Thomas cross. Harold, I really want to show you Nap the station, but I don't think Duck will let me. Then Thomas had another idea. <gasps> Duck, I forgot to tell you. We need to go to Napa Station. We have to collect the engineer who's going to fix Harold. All right, Thomas. If we need to go to Napford Station, we must go there directly and promptly. So Doug headed toward Napford Station. Oh, my! Look at that! Just wait till you see inside. It's... Stop! What's the matter? Just stop! Sorry, but Harold's too tall to go into the station. But... Express coming through! Helicopter on the line? Harold's too wide to let me come out. Now I'll never be on time. The fat controller couldn't believe his eyes. Duck, Thomas, what are you doing here? We have to collect the engineer who's going to fix Harold, sir. What nonsense. The engineer is waiting for Harold at the search and rescue centre. Thomas? Um... Oh... <laughs> Now, Duck was cross with Thomas. You tricked me, Thomas. But from now on, we will be sticking to the Great Western way of doing things. We will be going... Directly and promptly to the Search and Rescue Centre. I wish I could have shown you more things, Harold. Don't worry, Thomas. You try. Something new, friends to see if 
things to do. Percy Gordon, Henry too. Everyone has a job, it's true. You have to hurry, you can't delay. All the engines are time today. Change the signal, change the points, or the pistons and all the joints. All the engines in tip top shape, let's get them going, they can't be late. Here comes Thomas, down the track, around the corner, he'll soon be back. Chug and puff, the tracks are clear, clanging who at the station's near. Whoa, let's go, we're on our way Whoa, on a journey today Whoa, Thomas can't take us there Whoa, as long as we have a fare Thomas can't take us there Joby Wood gleamed and glowed in the sunshine. Edward's firebox fizzed and fluttered. Oh my! This is a very strange place. Thomas chuckled cheerfully. Don't worry, Edward. When I first chuffed here, I thought Misty Island was strange too. But now, I just think it's special. I'll show you around. Edward's wheels wobbled. Very well, Thomas. After you. So Thomas puffed proudly on. This is the zip line bridge. <laughs> and this is the sawmill. It's very noisy. This is the logging pond. It's loaded with logs. And those two are all Wheezy and Hee Haw. They're log loaders. Edward was puzzled. They're what? They're log loaders. They load logs. And they're crazy. <laughs> Edward trembled on the tracks. Oh, my. Then Thomas puffed perkily towards the Shake Shake Bridge. And this is the Shake Shake Bridge. We have to cross this, Edward, to pick up the Joby logs. Edward gasped. Don't worry, it's just a bit wobbly. So Edward wheezed and wished onto the Shake Shake Bridge. The bridge wobbled and wibbled with every wheel turn. Bust my buffers! Then Edward stopped. He was scared. 
To the couplet, cargo ready to roll. James, Thomas, and Percy pull that load. Got to, got to work harder, move that freight. Got to, got to go faster, can't be late. Here we come.
be bolder it's no more than silly sounds monsters everywhere hiding in the trees just behind the rugs blowing in the breeze monsters everywhere doing as they please they try to scare you look out look out they're all about where Look out, look out, they're all about where? Look out, look out, they're all about where? Oh, that's not so scary. Monsters everywhere, hiding in the trees. Just behind the rugs, blowing in the breeze. Monsters everywhere, doing as they please. They try to scare you. Monsters everywhere, hiding in the trees Just behind the rugs, blowing in the breeze Monsters everywhere, doing as they please They try to scare you Early one morning, the Fat Controller had a very important announcement to make Listen carefully now, a section of the track just beyond the water tower at Knapford Bend has buckled in the hot sun. You must take special care and mind your speed when passing through that area. All the engines were listening very carefully. All the engines except Paxton the diesel. <laughs> Pay attention, Paxton. I can't help it. Look, there's a duck over there. <laughs> Thomas, Paxton, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. May I remind you all, and you two in particular, not to be silly. 
Keep your mind on the job. We don't want any accidents. I will take these trucks to the shunting yard and keep my mind on the job. No silliness. <laughs> Soon, I'll be coming up to the damaged track the Fat Controller warned us about. I'd better slow down. As Paxton rolled over the bumpy track, it rattled his radiator and clattered his connectors. <laughs> oh, that was fun! <laughs> The fat controller's words flew out of Paxton's cooling fans. All he could think of was being silly. Now what's so funny, Paxton? Listen to the sound I make when I go over the bumpy track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You try it, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Go on, get a good run at it and go back really fast! Good idea! Thomas went ahead so he could get a good run up to the bumpy bit of track. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> then there was trouble. <laughs> Thomas had bumped right into Toby, who had been taking on water at the water tower. We're friends! Anywhere I go, seems like you're gonna go there too. Anything I do, you're always gonna do that too. It doesn't really matter where I may be. I always get this funny feeling that you're following me. But Thomas, we're friends. Nosotros amigos, we're friends. Si no me dan tus amigos, we're friends. Y si me dan tus amigos, no me dan tus amigos, we're friends. No amigos, we're friends. We're friends. Everyone. I'm just saying hello.
Montague is a little green tank engine. But everyone calls him Duck because the other engines used to say he waddled. Before Duck came to the island of Sodor, he worked on the mainland on the Great Western Railway. Duck always works hard and he always does things the Great Western way. One morning, Harold the helicopter was rescuing some climbers from the rocks near Callan Castle. Hang on, chaps! I'll have you down in no time! He picked up the climbers and flew them to safety. But when he went to take off again, Rotors are jammed. I can't take off. So, Duck was called to Callan Castle. The fat controller was waiting for him. Duck, you are to take Harold to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center to be repaired. Yes, sir. But, sir, I'm so tall and my floats are so wide. How can I travel by rail? I don't want to bash into things. Don't worry, Harold. Thomas will be Doc's back engine. He'll keep an eye out to make sure you will fit through any low or narrow gaps. Now, don't be sad, Harold. We'll get you there in no time. I know, Doc. I just like being up in the sky. You'll see things differently up there. As they were travelling along, an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Duck, I know how we can make Harold feel better. We can show him all the sights of Sodor from the ground. That sounds like fun. But Duck wasn't so keen. There is only two ways to do things, Thomas. The Great Western Way and the wrong way. The Great Western Way is to go directly and promptly to the Sudor Search and Rescue Centre without dilly-dallying. And without any fun. 